Do not buy the new Midnight DLC for My Hero Academia 1's Justice 2. I repeat, you heard me right the first time. Do not buy the new Midnight DLC for 1's Justice 2. And here's why. If you do not support censorship, do not buy this DLC. Tweet at the producers and the publishers of this game, Namco Bandai. Uh, tweet at the producers of this game, Biking. Tell them that you will not stand for their censorship of My Hero Academia. What am I talking about? Well, I missed this in the first video because I was just looking at the character. I didn't really inspect the scan very thoroughly. I was just really hyped for the news that Midnight was getting added into My Hero Academia once Justice 2. But upon closer inspection, and some people caught this in the Discord, Midnight has actually been censored from her original look. Now, this strikes me as weird because none of the male characters get censored. You know, and especially some of the uh, students definitely didn't get censored in this game. But the one female character that would be appropriate in this T for Teen rated game to look like how she originally looks in the anime, this one character got singled out out of all the big sweaty male characters. And no, oh, she gets, she gets censored. She gets censored. Uh, what about Cammy, right? Uh, I personally don't have a problem with this, but what about Cammy? We're gonna censor her next? This might actually have to do with why we haven't been getting certain DLC characters because, well, we can't, you know, you know, misshape their design or, or mess with it in any way, shape, or form. I will just scrap the character. They won't be in the game. So what they did was they took her outfit and what's supposed to happen is that it's supposed to be like this one black leather uh, divide coming down between her chest muscles, right? As part of her design. Well, what they did in an effort to censor her, and they succeeded, by the way, is that they took the whole black corset part of her outfit and they covered her chest to make her look like a boy, like a little boy. So I don't know what they're on, but I'm not supporting this censorship and neither should you. No one should buy this DLC. I, I, I want and it, it pisses me off. It pisses me off because I wanted to be happy about Midnight being in this game, but I will not support this censorship. I will not support, if this is what you want to do, if this is going from My Hero Academia to Fisher Price Heroes, no, we, a woman's body, no, no, censor it, go away. I will not support this. Oh, we will be just fine with all this violence and blood and gore and this, that, and other, but God forbid. We see a woman's body that produces life. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? They censored this character. It pisses me off. Cause this was the one, this was one of the few characters besides uh, Mount Lady that I was interested in. I don't care if you add Mount Lady now. What are you gonna do? You gonna censor her too? Sure you are. Cause you don't care about the integrity or the artistic integrity of, of what the creator made here. You not, you're not respecting it. You don't care. So no, I, I say no, do not buy this. Again, the, the change that they made was with her outfit. If you pay close attention to it, I'll put it on screen. They have censored out her outfit. And if you support them, they'll keep doing it. They'll keep doing it. And do not let them act like this is not happening. Do not act them, let them sit there. Well, we don't know what's going on. No, you know what's going on. Get at them on Twitter. Go to their official email. Go in there and just send them messages. Don't let them ignore this. This is BS. Do not pay your hard-earned money for this censorship. And that's all I have to say.